Well, there are plenty of sights to take in when you go to Washington, D.C. These days, a lot of tourists are looking up, way up, as engineers dangle from outside of the Washington Monument to carry out a delicate inspection. When a 5.8 magnitude earthquake rocked the East Coast last month, the National Mall's iconic Washington Monument sustained more than just panicked tourists fleeing the structure. Inspectors found a crack and closed the attraction indefinitely. Yesterday, the National Park Service dispatched a team of engineers to scale down the more than 500-foot-tall tower to conduct a block-by-block -block search for any more cracks that may have gone undetected. Team members will descend in small seats harnessed from inside the point over the next four days. They're excited to be doing it and have lots and lots of experience on high structures and historic structures. While in no apparent danger of collapsing, inspectors found several cracks in the last month, including three to four significant breaks near the top, substantial leaks, a debris field near the base, and daylight is visible inside where mortar has loosened. Officials expect an in-depth assessment to be ready next month. And joining us now is Emma Cardini, one of those high-flying engineers. Emma, thank you for taking a few moments before you get to work to talk with us. Uh, is it as scary as it looks up there? I know you do this for a living, but for those of us who don't, is it scary? Um, it's awesome. It's, it's not entirely scary. You have an appreciation for the height you're that, that you're at, but it's... For me, it's not so much a fear as just an awesome experience. I know this is your job uh, and it's work, but is there a certain adrenaline rush that comes along with doing it? I mean, I, I can't imagine there isn't. Um, I think we see it as any other job because we, we do work from height uh, relatively frequently. Yeah. So it is the Washington Monument, and I think it's a little different because you're surrounded by reporters, but other than that, it has the same qualifications that any of our jobs have. Yeah, so what are you, what are you seeing so far? I know it's early in the inspection, but what, what's some of the damage that you've inspected and you've seen? Um, we've seen, well, really, we've only been on the Pyramidian, and right now what we've been trying to do is make sure that the rest of our access can go smoothly. So we're trying to clear up a lot of the lightning protection that may prevent that, but we're taking observations as we go, and we've, we've seen um, some open mortar joints and and a, a few cracks but um, we haven't seen the bulk of the structure yet yeah I heard you got you got a text message when you were on the point yesterday <laughs> did, did you have the opportunity to well what, first of all what was the text who sent it to you and did you return it um, I returned it it was on actually on Tuesday and it was from my realtor she told me that we got an offer on our condo <laughs> and I told her that I couldn't give her a call to respond to it so she'd have to suffice with a tax back. Well, you know, Emma, the, the housing market is not that great right now. You, you probably should have taken that call. <laughs> one, one never knows. Uh, how long do you plan on, on being on the pyramid? What, I mean, what is the, um, I guess, the agenda for you? How long do they have you plan, plan on having you out there? Well, currently we're here through the week, but, you know, whatever the job requires. Yeah, are you, did, did you volunteer for this? I mean, how do they pick you? Are you one of the, the best repellers uh, that's out there? Definitely not. Um, I got involved in it through our company, and we have a, a great team of leaders, especially, who, who got us all excited about it several years back, and now we're part of a team of eight people who are all certified to perform this safely in our company. So we do this frequently as a group, and um, everyone is quite talented and and great to work with. It sounds like quite an honor, though, to be a part of this project, though. So uh, we thank it, you for it is. we thank you very much for taking the time here this morning. Stay safe up there, and uh, we'll talk with you soon. Thanks again, Emma. Thank you.